Hi, it's Stuart, the couples expert. I wanted to talk about vulnerability in terms of what are the roadblocks that stops people from being vulnerable. It is clear at this point that vulnerability is essential to have a close relationship in which you feel secure and your partner and you know that you have a really solid relationship. So if we know that that's an essential ingredient, why don't we do it? I think it's a, a number of different factors. One is for people that have not grown up with vulnerability being something that their families and them did, it feels very weird to share that part of yourself. I've heard over and over in my office people telling me, you're not supposed to do that. And men especially aren't supposed to share vulnerably because you'll be seen as weird or odd. The other thing is that part of us, the vulnerable side, is the part that we protect, particularly if we've had a number of relationships in which we've been hurt. And it doesn't just have to be an intimate relationship. It could be a relationship with a parent, with a best friend, and that if we have shared parts of ourselves and then later it's come back and it's been difficult for the relationship, we've learned not to do that because we fear that if we share that part of ourselves, we lose control, that someone else has power over us. And in some ways that's accurate. We need to have a relationship with a partner in which we can trust that there are certain lines that don't get crossed. And that vulnerability that we have, the part of us that sometimes we get very uncomfortable with is the same part of you that your partner when they see that side of you actually loved you even more because it shows that you trust them and that you're willing to go there with them which will then allow the two of you to really know that you have a secure relationship one in which we can be truly authentic and show all parts of ourselves. Take care and stay connected. Bye-bye.